Hey there, Leo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be your September general. Um, remember, there's always future prediction in this, so I always I always say to come back to it a few times throughout the month. If you find it at a later date, it's a monthly read of overall energy. There will still be your seven to 10 days, and especially if you're a subscriber, please do let me know. Support your readings with shares, comments, likes, so that you can get the bonus readings last month you didn't um so if you want more messages do do so and also check the shorts check the other readings check your sun moon rising and venus sign um personal wrap personal readings and my services you can contact me on the email description box below let's see what we've got for you leo i hope you're all well one card is turned over so we'll take it mm -hmm. I think your last 10 days of August, or the last one I did, if you're seeing it now, it's a 10 day reading. There was, there was, damn, it was hot. There was love coming in for you or deepening of love. If you haven't seen it, have a look at it. Messages for Leo, please, Spirit. So this is the current energy you're in or the energy you're stepping into at the moment, whenever you see this, okay? Current energy of Leo, please. This one turned first. It's interesting, this crown chakra has come out for most of the signs I've done so far. It's really strange. So, Leo, I'm not really sure if you've been feeling a bit blocked, but I actually feel you've felt a major shift in the past month or two of your life, where things have been looking a bit better than where they were a while ago. I feel like um, here, the angel of love is telling you, obviously, that the potential for love, all right, that is going to be healing to you. And you're going to recognize if a love offer is coming in or you've just connected with someone that why it didn't work with someone else. Like you recognize the healing of this love in, in comparison to a previous love that actually left you a bit wounded that left you needing to go on a healing journey, spiraled you probably into understanding a bit more of your soul and connecting with spirit. In this energy, you're actually do you're actually feeling like you're able to act, take action in your life. The only thing is, is that you've got passionate feeling to take action, but I'm not sure if you're feeling sometimes you're not understanding your ego versus your intuition. And you might be feeling like you're a bit blocked in your crown chakra. If you want an energy healing, you can contact me. But um, this is where you need to really open up to spiritual connections, intuition, inspiration. And like I said, I think some of you have done that, which has led you down this door to personal healing and happiness, like I mentioned. I think it was to do with learning about past love experiences, but learning when to say no. Yes, I love you, but no. Yes, I love you, but now, right now, it's me. Yes, I love you, but I'm exhausted. I need a nap. I can't do this anymore. I can't drive for two hours to see you when you're not doing the same. Um, taking care of yourself. I don't know why those examples were coming up. But like they're just random metaphorical examples, but it's a great time to stay connected with the assistance from spirit that is coming in. I feel like a lot of you have actually um, felt this already. And I feel like um, there's a loving friend or family member in spirit and they're giving you messages and letting you know that they're with you. Um, they might be also opening up the Akashic records for you where it, there's also information you're getting downloads but this connection is open and you're going to find your own spirit and the spirits that are around you provide you with the answers and blessings you seek which could be just around your daughter healing and happiness and your spiritual soul growth and inner growth where previously you were very action-based okay 
Um, the third chakra. Now with that, like I said, some of you are feeling really connected um, and you found that you're feeling a lot more confident that, than where you were maybe a few months ago, you know, and this is about emotions of desire. A desire. And there's a beautiful golden light if you look at it at the third chakra. And again, it's around issues of emotions and desire and personal energy. It's, it's really indicating that you've got the enthusiasm or it's on its way to you if you're not in this already. It's a great time to move forward to your desires because it's success here and you've got the energy and the purpose towards it. Let's get you more cards, Leo. Okay, we've had one that fell out. We've got another one that flew out from Spirit. And we've got another one. Beautiful. Let's see what we've got. So the first one that came out is <laughs> the victory. It's all yours, Leo. I knew that was going to come out. I knew there was going to be a victory or cornucopia come out for you. And you've got the thinking man using, opening up the spirit connection, using your discernment. This could also be someone who comes in to help you if you're trying to move forward in a certain way. The door to value tells me it's about your career, money and finances, a new work opportunity, a new financial abundance opportunity. So stay open, don't miss them, yeah? Uh, because there's victory behind this. There's victory behind this. Some of you might have been overthinking in your thoughts if you felt a bit stalled, what you've been working on, if you've been trying to work on even on a project or a new job, you might have felt it a bit stored. And this is where you needed to bring in the angel of balance. The thinking man is really a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You might have them in your top placements, but it could be someone who actually comes in. Now with the angel of balance, being centered and self-honoring is really important, which I mentioned actually with all these cards. But this is about masculine divine wisdom and understanding um there's a there's thoughtfulness there's reflectiveness about this and it might be someone who with the angel of love it might be a love interest gemini libra aquarius who's coming your way or perhaps a new masculine friend who's going to be um a guide a guide provide you insights help you on something Learn what you can from them and be open to them. It's probably either a new discipline, a course of study, healing practice that's going to change your life forever as well. That's the second message for someone. But really, um, with the, like I said, with the angel of balance, it's really love presence holds a picture of, you know, the, the liquid light in this and the pyramids behind you. Remember your destiny because you're victorious. There's victory coming in. This is like cornucopia. It's the wish fulfillment. The solid foundation of personal balance and emotional equilibrium is here. You've finally done it, Leo. You've done it where you felt out of balance. You felt kilted. You've done it. You've achieved it. And when you achieve it, you get victory not only internal world, but in your external world is coming through with this card. There's a golden victory here, an achievement and success is on its way to you have a sense of pride in what you've worked and what you've accomplished, what you've been really trying to think and get through. Enjoy it. Door to value. It could be, like I said, about your career, your um, money. There's a triumph here, definitely, in this chapter. And also, like I said, the angel of love is coming in, but you're doing it in a balanced approach. Okay, you're doing it in a balanced approach. So what I want to do is pull you a couple of more cards and then I want to take a, a challenge and a blessing for you. Yes, letting ego step out the way. Don't, don't entertain any drama that comes your way from the past, I'm feeling especially. And really take forward any any ideas, creative ideas. Now, this could also mean this is someone like a fire sign who's coming just here to create drama, not really wanting you to move forward. But I feel like some of you have got some creative ideas and you're like, 
Yeeks, should I go forward? And the answer obviously is yes. Look at that, two of, two of wands making the plan to go forward on whatever this creative spark is. Queen of Cups, in an emotionally mature way, listening to our intuition. Now connecting this to the cards, it could also mean a divine feminine energy is coming in. Whatever is the um, your love interest, your gender, whatever it is, uh, heterosexual, bisexual, all of them, whatever it is, whatever, if it's a male or a female or whoever you're interested in, that there is a potential here. Strong air sign and strong water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces is on the horizon. It could, it could be any, obviously, but they could, they're embedding that energy. They're embedding being emotionally mature, connected to their psyche as well. I feel like this person is also going to be discerning, yet they're going to be um, emotionally aware of themselves, which is going to help you continue on this path that you've started where you're actually healing and becoming aware that what happens to me is for me because look at what I've got in this new chapter victorious I felt the shift in a few months in the past couple of months and that victory is already here okay so the the burden the challenge is ten of wands is overburdening yourself maybe working too much what are you doing to overburden yourself leo what are you going to be doing working too much you're not do we have balance here angel of balance there we go we need to we need to listen to the angel of balance so your your challenge in september is having a balanced approach if you're working too much and not having your lunch that's not good enough if you're working too much and you're not sleeping enough that's not good enough this is about having taking too much on feeling burdened by the over responsibilities and but you're still finding yourself close to successful outcome you need to prioritize and also you need to let go of someone's expectations of you you need to stand up for yourself as well delegate some responsibilities and ask for help you can ask for help there is the help and the energy of help around you. Um, so let's see what a blessing is for you in September. A blessing for Leo, please, Spirit. Blessing for Leo. It's funny, I've got a card in mind. I don't know why I've got a card in mind. Okay, you've got two cards popped out. I'm going to take them, four of pentacles and the two of pentacles. It's really about, like I said, if you've been overworking yourself and you're kind of like, your blessing is letting go of the attachment or fear towards something where you've been holding on to being in control, thinking that if I try to control this, it will go my way. That's not how it works. And you've learned that. And so with this, it's telling you, you need to not allow um, a lack mentality deprive you. These two in a blessing means that you are coming into balance. You're balancing your priorities much better, which means this challenge gets released. You're balancing your work-life balance. You're balancing your love life and your work balance. You're balancing your money correctly. You're not in a lack, okay? This is stability. This is savings. This is this is the this is the point where you feel stable again, and you can be there and be sort of um, in a place of gratitude where there's a flow with the universe. If this was a challenge, I would say that you're holding on too much into control. Like I said, with the Two of Pentacles, you're having balance. You've realized the need to balance to juggle obligations and you're seeking harmony within your life and with what you need to balance out you're understanding how that is really really important for you now let's get a spirit animal for you leo please do like and subscribe if you enjoy your reading like i said do revisit it we've had oh grizzly bear comes out for you leo the power I mean, a bear, is a, a bear is full of power, isn't it? It's funny how we have teddy bears. We've, 
We've taken a very powerful, huge animal and created a teddy bear out of it, which is, you know, comforting. So you are indestructible and you honor your intuition, yes. And you go where it leads you. Love and gentleness are your real strength. I never give up and I will always, it says I will succeed, but I've said always, <laughs> succeed. Remember what I was saying about the Queen of Pentacles, being in your emotional, gentle, heart open place and receiving that from someone as well. Um, and you're going to be victorious. There was this card and there's another card that showed me that, Daughter Value. Everything shows me that actually here. I've just ruined the cards, but you've got, you've got it. You've got it, Leo. So take care. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And I'm going to see you in your next one, beautiful souls. Bye for now.